our team had explored and surveyed many underwater caves in Germany. Then, in 1997, we got a chance to explore the Blautopf. The target was to survey the complete underwater passage and reach the final point of Jochen Hasenmeier. Then, 2002, after hundreds of dives, we reached the end of Samb 1, climbed out of the water and explored the Virgin Passage. Diving in the 1.2 km long Samb was difficult and only a limited team could reach the dry passage and continue the exploration of the cave. While surveying, we find a very big passage, which we called Stairway to Heaven. And in the end, we find a point which we thought that might be the point to drill a second entrance. The drilling hit successful the passage. And from now on, the team had an easy and safe access to the dry cave. The detailed survey was continued and an inventory of everything in the cave were taken. Also, biospelology is a part of the work. In 2009, we found pool fingers, a biogen calcite formation inside of a cave pool. These rare speleotemes were formed when bacteria entered a cave with dripping water from the surface above. The bacteria builds finger-like filaments. Oversaturation inside of the cave pool calcify then the formations. Our target is now to collect samples for mineralogy and DNA research. In the Blautopf cave, the second time on world, living bacteria filaments were identified in a cave pool and they are now studied by US scientists. While working, the team is astonished by the unusual beauty of this German cave with its amazing formations and rare speleotemes.
but the main goal of the cavers is to extend the now 13 km long Blautopf cave system, digging for new passage, diving into virgin sumps deep inside of the cave. The Kars Plateau around the Blautopf has high potential for a 20 km long cave system and offers a wide range for scientific cave research. Sister, I, but 